Registering an environment is an important step to train robots in Isaac Lab using reinforcement learning algorithms. Make sure to stay until the end, as I will show you how to train any existing environment and also explain important things to consider. After covering how to set up the manager-based and direct workflows, we can now register these environments with Gymnasium for training. Gymnasium, formerly known as OpenAI Gym, is an open source toolkit for developing reinforcement learning algorithms. You can find the environment registry inside the initialization files shown here. I am showing the registry for the direct card poll task. The manager base registry is structured similarly as you can see here. The main differences between them are where they are located and which files they reference. The gym register function contains several important parameters. The identifier is a unique name used to locate and create the environment. The entry point points to the class and module where the environment is defined. The double underscore name variable refers to the name of the current module, which is where the code for the environment resides. Setting the disable environment checker to true helps skip unnecessary validation during development. Keyword arguments pass additional parameters to the environment. These configuration entry points reference the cardpole environment script covered in the previous tutorial and the reinforcement learning framework we plan to use. We have four predefined reinforcement learning framework options, RSLRL, SKRL, RL Games, and finally Stable Baselines 3. I chose the SKRL library because it provides multiple algorithms, supports vectorized training, and has comprehensive documentation. For more information, refer to the Isaac Lab Reinforcement Learning Framework documentation linked below this video. We utilize the reinforcement algorithm PPO, whose configurations we can find under this shown path. Here inside the YAML files, we can find the configuration settings for the agent, including model architecture, training parameters, and logging preferences. More on how to configure these in later videos. Now that we have set up the gymnasium environment and algorithm parameters, we are ready to train. But before, I'd like to take a moment to thank you for all the amazing feedback in the comments. It makes me very happy to see my videos helping the community. If you want to see me doing more tutorials like these, your support on Patreon or buy me a coffee would really help a ton. You can do that either by clicking on the card that just popped up on YouTube or by using the link down in the description. Okay, now let's look at the training script for the SKRL framework. I will not cover everything in detail, but summarize the most important steps that are very similar for the other mentioned frameworks. We begin with argument parsing and simulator launching. This section parses command line arguments, such as the number of environments, the machine learning framework, here Torch, choice of reinforcement learning algorithm and video recording options. It launches the Isaac simulation application using the app launcher class. These steps make the script flexible and easy to run with various settings. Next, we import several libraries to manage environments, handle training, and load configurations such as the SKRL vectorized environment wrapper, which takes a gym environment and converts it into a format compatible with the SKRL library. Wrapper are essential because some frameworks expect specific data formats, such as numpy arrays, instead of tensors. We also import direct or manager-based environments and the Isaac Lab Tasks package, which dynamically registers all environments inside its folder when the gym make function is called. Now we use the Hydra decorator for the main function to load environment and agent configurations. We have multiple lines that override default environment configurations with command line arguments, such as number of environments, device, max iterations, and random seed. Now we dedicate the next multiple lines for logging and directory setup after we can choose to continue training from a saved checkpoint. Next up, we create our gymnasium registry with the gym make function, where we can also specify if we want to record videos during training instead of rendering it. This helps training faster, and unlike the headless mode, gives us the ability to see visual performance at specific intervals. Finally, we wrap around the environment and start the training with runner.run. Let's now train two examples, one using the direct workflow and another using the manager-based workflow. For the direct workflow example, we choose the humanoid environment with the identifier Isaac Humanoid Direct Version 0. This environment is pre-configured with the SKRL library. We specify the number of environments to simulate, for example 4, and run the training script, as shown here. For the manager-based workflow example, we select the animal environment for locomotion on rough terrain. Its identifier is Isaac Velocity Rough Animal C version 0. We copy the identifier and run the training script. 
You can find a list of predefined environments in the Isaac Lab documentation linked in the video description. So in this video, we have learned how to register and train environments for the direct and manager based workflow. In the upcoming videos, I will build a custom robot and show how to train it from scratch. If this video helped you, please like, comment, subscribe or share so that other people can find this video as well. Thank you.